What is up guys, today we're covering saving and loading the game. So without further ado, a quick thank you to my Patreons for supporting me, and Tim my friend, welcome to the team and thanks for joining. Okay, let's jump into this. So, to put saving and loading the game simply, it's this. We have a save game slot. This is basically a storage which holds on to different variables to do with our game. We then have saving the game. This is sending over variables to our save game slot to hold on to. And we have loading the game, which is quite simply restarting the level. And when the level boots up again, retrieving the variables stored in the save game slot to reapply to our game. So let's run down an example. We play a level and our character levels up. We then save the game and send this level up to the save game slot as an integer. Then we quit and play our level again. Our character is now back to his starting level, but we can retrieve our level stored in the save game slot and load this back onto our character, therefore leveling him up again. So everything resets back to normal when we play a level, but we use our save game slot to load on our save stats, etc. So let's create a save load game. So first we're gonna right click, new blueprint, and for class, type save game, and bring in the save game class. Call this BP underscore save game. So this save game is the storage I was talking about earlier, where you can store variables to use for loading your game. So let's jump into it. And let's create a blank transform variable to store our character's location and rotation inside. Anything you want to save in your game, you'd save in here by creating a variable and storing the value or item inside. Okay, so we've got the storage. Now we need to save things into that storage and then load things from it. And this can be done from a few places, but I like to do it in the game mode. And a game mode, for those of you who don't know, is basically a blueprint which keeps track of the state of your game, which is always running in the background. All the variables inside it reset when changing levels, but as we're saving all our information in a save game, that's kind of irrelevant. So if you don't have a game mode, right click, blueprint, and select game mode. Call this BP underscore game mode, and in your world settings in the bottom right, under game mode override, select your game mode. Now double click to open it up. First, we need to actually create the save file. So under the begin play, bring in a does save game exist node. For slot name, type in here what you want your save to be called. I'll call mine save one. Bring in a branch with B and click and connect these up. Then off the false, if a save game doesn't exist, bring in a create save game object and select your BP save game. Now off this, bring in a save game to slot node and make sure your slot name is the same slot name you used earlier. So far, pretty easy, right? If we don't have a save game file, we're gonna create one and save it. Let's comment this create save file. Now let's actually save the game. So right click and create a custom event called save game. Then bring in a load game from slot, making sure you use the same slot name you've been using in the past. Off this, we're gonna to cast to our BP save game, and we're gonna pull off this and set our transform variable we made earlier. And we're gonna set this value with our characters transform. So bring in a get player character node, then pull off this and cast to your player character, whatever your character blueprint is called, maybe third person, maybe something else. Pull off this and get actor transform, and plug this into our save game transform variable. And finally, we're gonna bring in a save game to slot node, again, making sure we use the same slot name as we did earlier. So this is everything you need to know to save the game. First, you get a reference to the save game we made using the load game from slot node. Then you do your changes to whatever variable, and then you save game to slot. So every time you wanna save something, come back to these nodes, this is how you do it. Let's comment this save game. Okay, so we've stored our character's location in our save game. Now, how do we load it? Well, we want to load our game every time we start our game, right? So we can go back to our begin play. If there is a save game, we can load our game. So again, we need to reference our save game. So let's copy our previously made load game from slot and reference nodes. Let's also copy our character reference nodes. So this time, Instead of setting the save game variable, we need to use it. 
So pull off the save game and get our character transform variable. Let's plug in our cast to character. And this time, instead of getting the world transform, we're going to set the world transform. And we plug our save game variable into this transform. And there we have loading the game. Let's comment this as load game functionality. So you may be wondering, how are we meant to call this load game if it's part of a begin play event? Well, as every time we begin our game, our game will be loaded to our last save, all we need to do is restart the level and it will load our save game. So let's create another custom event called load game. And simply off this, we're going to bring in an execute console command and inside it, we're going to type restart level, which will restart the level. Okay, now just a few more things. First, how do we delete a save file, either for testing purposes or in game? Well, whenever you want to delete a save file for testing, you can hop into your project folder in your file explorer, hop into the saved folder and jump into the newly created save games folder. Here we can just manually delete the save file. Okay, what about in game? In our game mode, let's create a new custom event called restart level. Off this, bring in a delete game in slot node, making sure you use the correct slot name. Then let's duplicate our restart level console command. And there we have it. So we delete the save file and then we restart. Now, let's hop into our character blueprint. Under the event begin play, bring in a get player controller node. Pull off this and bring in a set control rotation node. For the rotation, pull off it and get active rotation. So these nodes will just ensure our camera is always facing our character when we load back into the level. Okay, very last thing, calling the events we made in the game mode. So for this, I need you to either download the link in the description, which contains a menu widget, or I need you to create a widget with three buttons, one button called restart, one called save game, and one called load game. If you're downloading the widget, once it's downloaded, just copy paste the file into your content browser in your file explorer. Don't import it. Next, I need you to click the link called blueprint nodes in the description. When it opens, just copy all the nodes and jump back into your program. In the menu, under Blueprints, hop into the level Blueprint and paste all these nodes in. Make sure the widget being created is your menu widget that you either made or downloaded. Pull off this, promote to variable and call it menu WB. Control drag this variable in and connect it up to the add to viewport and remove from parent. So these nodes just toggle your menu widget to open and close, copy and paste it to save your time. Okay, now jumping into our menu widget. Click on each of the buttons and in the details on the right, scroll down until you see the events. Then bring in an on-clicked event for each button. Then bring in a get game mode and cast to our BP underscore game mode. From here, we can call our game mode events we made. So pull off our game mode ref and call the save game event and plug this into our save game button click. Now copy the game mode ref and bring in our load game event for our load game button click. Then copy the ref again and bring in our restart level event for our restart button click. So now each button is linked to each of the events in the game mode. And that my friends is how you save, load and delete a save file. For anyone who wants a fully integrated save and load system, or for anyone who wants to speed up their learning, check out my Marketplace asset. It's got some really awesome features and it will really help you with your Unreal Engine blueprinting. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Tomorrow, we are continuing our save game journey and I'll be showing you how we can implement checkpoints and save certain parts of our level. And that's it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.